Jesse with Jesse Dean Designs and we're going to be showing you how to install the Jesse Dean Designs uh, PCB RCA cord kit and uh, on your standard 1200 Techniques turntable. So first thing is you're going to need soldering iron, a little bit of solder, I like a cordless drill, something with a clutch, and of course a little bit of your time. So we're going to go ahead and start. First thing we're going to do is pop off this platter uh, because when we flip the turntable over uh, we're going to need the, have the platter. The platter is just going to come off anyway. Second thing is uh, go ahead and have like a, a soft towel to cushion your turntable when you flip it over. So we're going to go ahead and flip it over just like so. And once you have it flipped over, remove the four feet. And then of course, go ahead and take uh, the base screws off. Now we're going to go ahead and take apart or undo uh, the stress stress relief, and of course also the base plate here. Two small screws. So we do small screws and two uh, a little bit longer screws. That's a cord relief. Now we're going to feed the wire back through. So, leave this here. Let's go ahead and clip the zip tie. And we'll just pull that out of there, like so. And then I'll go ahead and, since these are the old ones, we're not going to use them, I just cut them. And then also the ground wire. I leave a little bit of the room just in case you ever want to put it back on. So I put about that much on there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove the toner wires from the lead. So we're going to remove the black. So we're going to go ahead and put a little tension on that. Green, red, white, and blue. So now your tone arm or your uh, tone arm wires are disconnected from the tone arm board or the PCB. I'm going to remove these two cables, these two screws. Two, three. Okay, so get rid of the old one. Now we're going to go ahead and install our new cable. So how we do that, it's basically the same way we took the other one apart. I'm going to go ahead and place that in place like so. Take the ground wire, feed that screw through, just like so. Go ahead and solder the leads back onto these large pads. So first thing we're going to do before that is we're going to go ahead and move the wires out of the way and then put a little solder on each pad. Now the way it goes, it says should be marked on the board what color goes where. So the first one we're going to do is the blue wire. So find the blue wire, which is right here. Sorry for, thanks. So hopefully you can see it there. Blue wire, just like that. So it's blue. Next one is white. So find the white wire. Go ahead and put the white wire. In the next spot. Like so. 
so. Next one will be red. And the next one will be green. And then the last one, of course, is the really small black bar. Like so. So that's pretty much it with the soldering. So we're good to go on that. Make sure your connectors are good. Nothing's touching each other which looks good here. Go ahead and take that extended ground wire, the old ground wire, you can just kind of bundle up and put it in there. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to short anything out. It's just in case if any reason down the road you want to put the ground wire back onto it, you can. So I just put that off to the side. You know, if you don't want it, if you never will, you can just snip it right at that little brass piece and, and you're good to go. So now we go ahead and feed the wires back through, like so, so feed one. Feed two through the bottom side. Like so. Now there's two little dimples, uh, little dimples. These will fit into one right there, and of course one right there. So give ourselves a little bit of slack inside there to make sure the tone arm can move up and down. Uh, the actual slider can move up and down. And we take this little piece right here and you'll notice that there's like lips and stuff those go toward the bottom like so the cable goes into that little little recess notch like so I usually fold it over like so then take this cable take the, the cover of the cable for support the long flat side goes toward the cable and then the whole side goes out. It's clicking into place. Sometimes I want to move the cable, I want to move it a little bit. Grab your two screws before, put the long screw in there. Use your drill. One. Two. What I really like about these cables that we were supplying on here, not they're not oversized, which uh, sometimes oversized cables are a pain to work with. And also, if they don't have proper grounding or if there's too much copper in uh, those cables, the big big cables, uh, they can actually pick up noise or create noise in the system. The smaller cables work just fine. You just want a really good, high quality cable with the proper grounding on it, and that's that works great. So now there's no more ground wire. It's all built inside. So we're going to go ahead and now put the boot back on. You feed the RCAs through the hole of the boot, like so. Feed your power cord through this side of the boot. Like so, put your boot back on and now we put the screws. Make sure your clutch is set to say like four or low thing so we don't snap the screws or break the threads off.
there you have it. Uh, that's how you change the RCA cables um, on your Technics SL1200, 1210, uh, MK5, MK2, MK3, M3D, and M5G. It's all the same. Same uh, PCB, same parts, same everything. Again, thank you for your time. This is Jesse Dean with Jesse Dean Designs. Peace.